Hello, God bless you. Welcome to today's daily devotion. My name is Stephen. I'm the pastor of Graffiti Fellowship in Brooklyn, New York. Our daily devotion series is where we read a chapter from the Bible together. We post these videos five days a week. They're there for you to access at any time. Uh, we're reading through the Gospel of John at this stage, and today we're reading John chapter 9. A little shorter chapter than some of the preceding. 41 verses. So let's get started. John chapter 9 begins this way in verse 1. This uh, initial story in this chapter is Jesus healing a man who was born blind. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been blind from birth. Rabbi, his disciples asked him, why was this man born blind? Was it because of his own sins or his parents' sins? It was not because of his sins or his parents' sins, Jesus answered. This happened so the power of God could be seen in him. We must quickly carry out the tasks assigned to us by the one who sent us. The night is coming, and then no one can work. But while I am here in the world, I am the light of the world. Then he spit on the ground. He made mud with the saliva, and he spread the mud all over the man's eyes. He told him, go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. Siloam means scent. So the man went and washed, and he came back seeing he had regained his sight. His neighbors and others who knew him as a blind beggar asked each other, Isn't this the man who used to sit and beg? Some said he was, and others said, No, that's just somebody who looks like him. But the beggar kept saying, Yes, I'm the same one. And they said, Well, who healed you? What happened? And he told them the man they called Jesus made some mud, spread it over my eyes, and he told me, go to the pool of Siloam and wash yourself. And so I went and washed, and now I can see. And where is he now, they asked. And he said, I, I don't know. And they took the man who had been blind to the Pharisees, because it was on the Sabbath that Jesus had made the mud and healed him. And the Pharisees asked the man all about it. And he told them, he put the mud over my eyes, and when I washed it away, I could see. And some of the Pharisees said, this man Jesus is not from God, for he's working on the Sabbath. Others said, but how can an ordinary sinner do such miraculous signs? So there was a deep division of opinion among them. And then the Pharisees again questioned the man who had been blind and demanded, what's your opinion about this man who healed you? The man replied, I think he must be a prophet. The Jewish leader still refused to believe the man had been blind and could now see. So they called in his parents and they asked them, is this your son? Was he born blind? If so, how can he now see? And his parents replied, We know this is our son. And we know he was born blind, but we don't know how he came to see or who healed him. Ask him. He's old enough to speak for himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders who would announce that anyone saying Jesus was the Messiah would be expelled from the synagogue. And that's why they said he's old enough. Ask him. So for the second time, they called in the man who had been blind and asked him, God should get the glory for this because we know this man, Jesus, is a sinner. I don't know if he's a sinner or not, the man replied, but I know this. I was blind and now I can see. But what did he do, they asked. How did he heal you? Look, the man exclaimed, I told you once, didn't you listen? Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciples too? And then they cursed him and said, you're his disciple, but we are disciples of Moses. We know God spoke to Moses, but we don't even know where this man comes from. Why, that's very strange, the man replied. He healed my eyes, and yet you don't know where he comes from? We know that God doesn't listen to sinners, but he's ready to hear those who worship him and do his will. Ever since the world began, no one has been able to open the eyes of someone born blind. If this man were not from God, he could not have done it. You were born a total sinner, they, uh, they answered. Are you trying to teach us? They threw him out of the synagogue. But when Jesus heard what had happened, he found the man and said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him, Jesus said, and he's speaking to you. Yes, Lord, I believe, the man said, and he worshiped Jesus. And then Jesus told him, I entered this world to render judgment, to give sight to the blind, and to show those who think they see that they are blind. Some Pharisees who were standing nearby heard him and asked, Are you saying we're blind? If we were blind, excuse me, if you were blind, you wouldn't be guilty, Jesus replied, but you remain guilty because you claim you can see. That concludes John 
chapter 9. Thanks so much for participating in this daily devotion. Hope it's blessed you. Please feel free to share this with anyone else you think it may bless. And uh, we hope you'll join us again for John chapter 10 next time. God bless you.